As for the Democrats, Hillary Clinton plans to campaign for Barack Obama in Las Vegas on Friday, but there are still lingering doubts about whether some Clinton supporters really will become Obama voters. Here's our senior political correspondent, Jeff Greenfield. It was the longest, tightest primary battle in some 30 years, and at times it was testy. Shame on you, Barack Obama. I, I opposed that bill, and you know I did. And despite the image of unity, some Clinton supporters are still wounded, apparently including former President Clinton, who offered a decidedly lukewarm endorsement of Obama's credentials. Is he ready to be president? Well, in this, you could argue that no one's ever ready to be president. And while poll numbers suggest that Obama has won the backing of some six in ten Clinton supporters, that leaves a whole lot more of her backers who have yet to be persuaded, which means Obama must do what? I was hoping that you would truly answer my question. Clinton backer Alice Huffman of California thinks putting her on the ticket would be just the ticket. But barring that, she wants to see Clinton's strength recognized at the convention. Well, Senator Clinton should have the opportunity to give up her delegates to announce to all of us that this is what she wants at and during the convention with the right platform. But beyond the convention lies the challenge of bringing more of Clinton's voters to Obama's side, which may reveal something of a gender gap. Pro-choice women who hear of McCain's opposition to Roe versus Wade may be relatively easy to win over, but white working class men who back Clinton may be a tougher sell. It's a fair point as to whether they were voting for her or against Obama. Former John Edwards campaign strategist Joe Trippi says the key here may lie in another Clinton. I think the one thing where Obama needs to do some more work is to get Bill Clinton out there campaigning for him with some of those voters. I think the more uh, Senator Obama reaches out toward him and that campaign and they put him in his prominent place in this election process, you'll see him having more enthusiasm. It's still noteworthy, however, that it's been 30 years since a nominee will come to a convention or has come to a convention facing so many delegates who wanted somebody else to be the nominee, Katie. And meanwhile, there's some thinking that this rift might be behind Obama's choice of Invesco Field as the site of his acceptance speech. Well, certainly you're going to have tens of thousands of eager Obama supporters, and if there are reluctant one-time Clinton delegates who are less than enthusiastic, they're going to be overwhelmed by the number of people on that field, Katie. All right. Jeff Greenfield, Jeff, thanks so much.